Hi, I'm David Harry, and I've just been scammed by buying a fraudulent fake card on Amazon. So what I'm going to do in this video is show exactly what happened, explain all the ins and outs of the transaction, and what I believed I was supposedly buying. Now, two things here. Hopefully, I will be able to stop other people from going through the same thing as what I've just gone through and had me money wasted. But also, what I'll be able to do is to show people one potential way where they can check their card to make sure that it is actually the card that they think they've got. Okay, so basically what happened was I was just looking for a cheap 1050. Just something to just do some very light gaming on and just whiz it into me like my main computer. Just so I could do some stuff in between editing and productivity and things like that. And that's when I come across this graphics card, which purported itself to be a GTX 1050. So basically I bought it, waited a couple of weeks for it to come through and whatnot. And then yesterday, I decided to get on and throw it in my system. Now, the thing is, I had a few little warnings ahead of putting the card in the system because the box that it come in was actually a box for a different card. And on top of that, it was a card which was like way lower spec than whatnot. But, you know, I just thought to myself, maybe they've just used a simple box just to package it in, whatever. And also another potential warning sign was the fact that it come with the CD installer disc whose latest drivers were only Windows Vista. So anyway, you know, ignoring all that stuff, I just kind of got on with the build, blah, blah, downloaded the latest GTX drivers from the NVIDIA site for the 1050 and voila, it didn't install. So then after downloading six other driver packs where I was progressively going further backwards in time from the NVIDIA archive, I finally come across one that worked. Hurrah! But then when I started using it, I just thought, hey, up, this doesn't feel very good. And the thing is, you know, a proper 1050 should actually be a very decent card for just bog standard low end gaming. Indeed, you can do like 1080 out of it quite reasonably well and stuff. But anyway, I was getting very poor results. So then what I decided to do was to go inside the NVIDIA utility and check out the specifications of the card. And then bingo, that's when I found out exactly what the problem was. So what's happened? Somebody has just got a very old graphics card. I mean, it is brand new. It is NVIDIA and the board is actually got NVIDIA on it. So I don't think anyone's gone to the extent of fabricating something that says NVIDIA on it or anything like that. So it is a genuine NVIDIA card for sure. But what's happened, somebody has managed to go into the BIOS or the firmware of it and basically reflash the software so that the card reports itself to be a GTX 1050 when it's plugged into something. And how I found out it wasn't a 1050 was when I looked further through the NVIDIA application, it was saying that my 1050 only had 192 CUDA cores. And then on top of that, the clock speeds were all wrong and also the bit depth for the memory was all wrong. In fact, the only thing that it registered as being correct was the two gigabytes. But the problem with that is that the BIOS and the firmware can also be reprogrammed to show more memory than what the card actually holds. And the reason why I say that was a bit of a shocker is because I'm very aware of these practices that can happen on eBay, which in part is one of the reasons why like, I very rarely use eBay anymore. And I've also seen a lot of web reports and also YouTube videos about these things happening when purchasing off eBay. But for the fact that I bought it off Amazon is a huge worry because what it is, I buy tons of stuff off Amazon and I have not once had any issues. Now, I'm not blaming Amazon here, of course, because, you know, they're only like the gateway to all this stuff to come through. I mean, you know, you could argue and say that, yeah, you know, they should be keeping more of an eye on this stuff, but it takes people like me who've had a bad experience to report these things back to Amazon because otherwise they're never going to know. And anyway, the whole Amazon thing doesn't become such an issue because obviously you're kind of covered by that 30 day thing and whatnot. But the real problem for me is the fact that like, you know, this is being deliberately tampered with and it is a fake. It is a scam as well. Now, again, not saying that the seller was scamming, but it's a scam to have bought something which is being deliberately tampered with 
to have been told, yes, you're one of these, but really, you're one of these. So yeah, that's just my little report on what's gone on here. And also, the name of the company who make the card are called Too Goo, right? Now, if you put a D on the end of that, it becomes too good. And then if you add a few more words to that, it becomes too good to be true, which obviously was the case with this. But seriously though, you do have to start keeping an eye out for these things, because it would appear it's happening more and more. Like I say, I was aware of it on eBay, but now buying through Amazon and you can't be dead sure that what you're buying is actually not a fake product. Okay, so what I'll do anyway, I'll leave some links to where I bought this from in the description. Whatever you do, do not buy it. I'm only putting it there so people can get a closer look at what that is. And also, if someone's come across this video and maybe Davey the bought the exact same looking one, or somebody's just now started thinking, oh, hold on a minute, well, my card doesn't feel quite right then maybe what you should do is run the inspector inside the actual NVIDIA software and it'll tell you all the attributes of what is on the card. And also as well, and this doesn't bode well for anyone like myself who just wanted to like, you know, put together a cheap system or indeed just add a cheap card to a system. What it may be suggesting is that you really have to stick with name brands. You know, so when you think like, you know, Gigabyte, Asus, all of the major brands who use the NVIDIA chips Sets. you're gonna be dead safe with them people so I'm not suggesting for a minute that you go and check that stuff because they're gonna be great so anyway kids there's been a lesson taught today and that is don't be a big stupid massive mug like Uncle Dave and if you find something that says it's a Nvidia graphics card and the price is really low and it's made with a silly name like two goo or something similar completely avoid it okay so the last thing that remains for me to say right now is thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye Bye now.